Court Reporter with Stovall and Associates. Hello and welcome back to Court Reporter. I'm here with Judge Robert Lane, rerunning uh, for 5th District. I'm not going to say that right. 5th so Judicial say District Department 2. 2, thank you. Coming up in November. Okay. Everybody get out and vote and get to know all your candidates. Make a wise decision. Wonderful, wonderful. Before we uh, went on break, we were talking about some of your cases that you've worked on. Um, not to put you on the spot, but what would you say are your most rewarding um type of cases that you enjoy doing the most and which ones do you dislike the most? Well, I started the drug court about uh, 12 years ago and ran it for 10 years or so, 11 years. And that was always uh, rewarding because we were getting a lot of people clean and off drugs. Absolutely. I, I have uh, family members that were addicts and I know what a struggle it is for families with kids lying and stealing and making trouble for the family. And when you can get them clean and get them jobs and get them driver's licenses, straighten them out, that's very rewarding. I enjoy doing uh, family court because uh, the family are coming into court arguing over who gets the kid and sometimes it's in the best interest of the child to go with one parent over another, usually because of drugs and alcohol or right. violence. And, and so I always feel gl good, glad that I'm helping the children. Um, and then uh, civil law is always nice because people are fighting over uh, money and houses and, and I get to use my reasonableness and common sense to come to a nice uh, rational decision between right. the two parties. And of course, you know, criminal who, you ever have a guy bake it break into your truck or steal something from your yard and you wish, I could get that guy. Well, I really get to sentence him. Right. <laughs> and uh, give him the, the fair, just sentence, and it's always been rewarding. Wonderful. And is there any part of it you don't care for? Uh, no. The, uh, uh, the, hard, the hardest things for me are the probate cases because that's usually when families are coming in fighting over money. Right. Mom or dad die, the family swoops in, they take the rings and they fight over the money and the accounts and you see it get pretty brutal right. in court and you feel sorry for the, for the families because you see it breaking them up and uh, people fight over money. And then um, this week we're doing a, a trial in court on a, a allegation of a sexual assault on a minor and those are always hard, you know, having Absolutely. the kids come in and testify and stuff. Yeah, that's got to be a real heartbreaking one, but at the same time a real rewarding one if you can, you know, put the guy away that actually did the wrong, if he did do the wrong. Well, yeah, we let the jury decide if it's proved beyond a reasonable doubt or not. So is there a jury in all your cases or no? Uh, just in the criminal just felony in the criminal cases felony. and uh, most of the time the jurors do a really good job. We've uh, I've done a lot of trials and uh, the jurors at the end of the trials always fill out critiques, how we can improve the court system and how the attorneys did and how the judge did and uh, hundreds of them and the jurors have all been positive about me. They said I got a good sense of humor in court and I direct the court real good and explain everything well and so I've had nothing but positive feedbacks from the juries and sure. the jurors have done good. Hmm. I, did, uh, I did some training uh, trained a few mixed martial artists here in town, young fighters and whatnot. I actually did a little bit with your son that's off on his mission. Um, and we used to get some of the guys from the drug court that would come up there and we would see the same thing, that they're really starting to clean their life up yeah, and just good make something good of them. Uh, you said you did that for about 10 years. Are you not doing it anymore? Somebody else uh, A couple that? of years ago, Judge Wonker came on board and I asked her to give me a break from it. I was getting kind of burned out. Right. And... Uh, uh, probably in a year or two, we'll switch back switch again. But well, the program is still running. It is. Good. Judge Wonker's doing it. Very good. Well, talk to us a little bit about uh, the ins and the outs of the court. You have to work with the DA a lot, do you not? The district attorney's office, the sheriff's office, um, government state agencies, the attorney general's office. We get a lot of uh, laymen come in doing pro per work. Okay. And so uh, I'm really good at that because I'm a... Uh, I always say to people before a court, every hearing I ever do, civil, criminal, any kind of hearing I do, I say, is there anything else you want to tell me? Is there anything else I need to know? And I make sure I get to the point where they say, no, I'm done. There's nothing more to tell you. And then I make the decision. And I try and be real patient with people and have a sense of humor and help them get through the process. Make sure nobody gets railroaded. Right. That's wonderful. Um, talk to me about some of the boards you sit on. And Well, uh, I've... Uh, been a member of the uh, Judicial Ethics Board, the uh, Judicial Education Board. In past years, I've been on the board for the Chamber of Commerce, the No to Abuse Board, 
Um, we've got CASA started. I've done uh, Rotary, um, American Legion. It's been real active in the real community. Active. And I, I go to almost every event in the community, every dinner and political event and the Rotary Dinner and Chamber of Commerce and, and donate a lot of money, get active, try to help out. My wife and I donate items for raffles and, of course, uh, help out when we can with fireworks and things at the park. And, we, you know, when you have kids growing up in the community, you get real active. You get active real active, stuff. real involved, yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Now, I might have to cut you off in the middle here. I think we got about two minutes left before we got to go on a commercial break. But you mentioned that CASA. That seemed like a real a rewarding program. Tell me a little bit about how you're involved with that and what the that's doing. The Court Appointed Special Advocate Program is a volunteer program where citizens go and get a little bit of training, and then they come into court, and they're actually an officer of the court representing the children. When we come into court for an abused child who's physically abused, sexually, or maybe Maybe there's not enough food in the house and the house is dirty and so forth. The, the parents get attorneys. The state has an attorney. But the kids don't have anybody representing them. Gotcha. Uh, and so uh, uh, the CASA person will uh, go and meet with the children and meet with them regularly and talk with them and make sure their needs are taken care of. And they'll come into court and they'll tell the judge, here's what I think you should do regarding the parents or the state or the school or the doctor. And they have that authority to go talk to the school and the doctors on behalf of the court and get information. And then I can make a more informed decision on whether to return the kids to the family or give them foster parents or adoption or whatever. So basically that, that advocate, they they have the best interest of the judge. I, Correct. That's kind of, that's a great program. It is, and it's real rewarding. The yeah. CASA people tell me that do it. Yeah, I think it, that's only been a program for a couple of years now, hasn't it? Well, it's been in the U.S. for a long time, and it's been in Nevada for a while. We've been trying to start one, and, and we tried three different times for 14 years to start a program here. And finally, about two or three years ago, Willie Bear came in, and she had the organizational skills to get all the people to volunteer and get one up and running. She's that's, done a great job. That's wonderful. All right, we have to take another quick commercial break, but we'll be right back with uh, Judge Lane. Court Reporter with Stovall and Associates. 